details, the travel agency logged into my account and said, yeah, you're right. You can't enter your details. That's strange. Maybe it's just a bug. Try tomorrow. It is Thursday, February 3rd, 2022. And on this special edition of Sofa Time, we're talking about something strange happening with my Costa booking. All right, everybody, this is gonna be a really short video. I wanna tell you about something weird that's happening with my Costa booking. Never experienced this before. I'm not sure what it means, but before I get into that, of course, I always have a couple other things I wanna tell you about. First of all, for the first time this year, I think I made a video on my second channel, Guten Morgen. It's youtube.com slash Guten Morgan, written like my name. It's a comedy cooking video with a little bit of magic involved. I hope you enjoy it. I know a lot of you have seen it already. Also, I just got back from a barber and I went to a new barber, not the person I usually go to here. Lesson learned, Morgan, lesson learned. And this dude totally messed up my hair. If you just look at it right now, I guess it looks okay. But the first thing I always say when I go to a new hair person is that my hair is thinning here in the front. I mean, you can see there's not really a lot of hair here and I only have a few options. And I showed him a picture of how I usually wear it. And he said, all right, uh, you know, I can do that. We'll go short on the sides and, you know, uh, shorter up at the top. And then you can still sort of mess it up and push it forward to cover up this area to make it look full. And I was like, yeah, great. Sounds good. So he starts cutting my hair. And then all of a sudden, after it's gotten to a certain level of shortness and he's going around, you know, cleaning up the edges with the trimmer, he takes the trimmer and trims away like a half inch of hair here on my forehead. I'm gonna try to show you, I know it's not really easy to see, but my, like this area is especially thin, but I have hair that goes like to here. And he shaved all of this off, like just in a second, like went bzzzt. And I said, why did you just do that? And he said, well, yeah, you just had a couple of like sparse hairs there and they were kind of not helping the picture. And I said, I know I only have a couple of hairs there, but I, I want to keep them. His reaction was really strange and he acted like, it's not a big deal. It was only a couple of hairs. And I told him, listen, if somebody comes to you and says, they're concerned because they have thinning hair at the front, then don't take away the hairs they have at the front. I know some of you out there work in the hair industry. Is this a thing? Is shaving off somebody's widow peak a thing? I don't usually do this and I know none of you are probably ever gonna even be here to consider going there, but it's called Phil's Barbershop. It's right across the street from Tennis Point. And yeah, sorry Phil. Not recommended. That being said, I'm feeling very vulnerable, very emotional. I was really upset when I left there and he still charged me full price even after I voiced my concern about his methods. All right, coming up, uh, hopefully on Sunday, I will be flying to Barcelona. I did check in for my flight already. That part's going well. I have a hotel. And then Monday, I will be skedaddling over to the cruise port to hopefully board the Costa Luminosa, my very first cruise with this Italian-based cruise line. I've been talking about it in the last few Sunday sofa times. I'm pretty sure you know about it already. Go check out the video from a couple days ago if you wanna get all the details. And usually at this point of a cruise, I mean, today is Thursday and the cruise leaves on Monday, you have all the information you need, you have everything printed out, you can basically be totally packed and ready to go by now. But that's not the case at the moment. And when I booked the cruise several weeks ago, it wasn't, it didn't seem strange to me that at that time when I logged into my My Costa account that I was not yet able to provide like my personal details, my address, my passport number and all those things. It, it didn't seem to me like at that time it was kind of weird, but now it is weird. When I got home yesterday, I had an email from the travel agent, uh, well, the travel agency that I booked through saying, Dear Mr. O'Brien, in just a few days, you are leaving on your fantastic Costa cruise. Please make sure you enter your passport details because the cruise line got in touch with us to let us know that they do not have yet your details. Sorry, I'm translating it all from German. 
I think that grammar was strange, but you know what I mean. Gosh, I can tell I'm in a sassy mood right now. I'm sorry if, if this is like negative energy coming over, but after the whole haircut incident, I'm finding it really hard to calm down. All right, so travel agency says, Costa got in touch with us. They need your details. Please go enter them immediately. I don't want to mess up this cruise, so I drop what I'm doing. I think I was still wearing my jacket, and I sat down at my computer, went to my Costa account, and tried to do it, but... It doesn't work. There is no opportunity. There is nothing I can click on that will allow me to do it. So I called the travel agency to discuss with them what's going on. I told them, uh, yeah, I got this mail from you saying that Costa got in touch with you, that they need my details, but when I go to the Costa website, I cannot enter my details. The travel agency logged into my account and said, yeah, you're right. You can't enter your details. That's strange. Maybe it's just a bug. Try tomorrow. I was not necessarily satisfied <laughs> with that solution, so, I just went ahead and called Costa directly. I keep looking at my hair. And I told them I got a letter from my travel agency saying that Costa contacted them saying that I need to enter my details, but I'm in the website right now and I cannot enter my details. What should I do? And the guy on the phone from Costa Customer Service, also a conversation in German said, no, you, you can't enter them yet. You can't enter them until 72 hours before the cruise. I know what it says is something about the medical form that you can't enter your medical information until 72 hours before the cruise, but the that medical form usually doesn't really have anything to do with your check-in and, and entering your passport information and stuff like that. So it was confusing to me. And I told him, okay, so it's not... Uh, like abnormal that at the moment I have not entered my address and my passport information. The guy from Costa said, during normal times, usually you would be able to enter it by now, but at the moment, because of the corona uh, situation, it is not open, it is not available until 72 hours before your cruise, like it says on the website. To which I said, okay, cool, I can deal with that, but I'm just confused because my travel agency said that somebody from Costa contacted them to ask me to enter my information. And he said, no, I doubt that. So I don't know what's going on. I, I feel like that, you know, I doubt that. That's the wrong answer from a customer service person because it makes me feel like he thinks I'm lying. He could have said something like, oh, well, if somebody from Costa did contact your travel agency, that would be quite an exception because usually Costa does not contact travel agencies for this reason or something like that, not yeah, I doubt it. So I don't know, uh, 72 hours before my cruise, if it's Monday is probably Saturday, right? So I'm gonna wait until Saturday morning, which seems so last minute for a cruise that's leaving on Monday to put my information into the what is it called, the passenger manifest and get my boarding documents. But if I don't get to cruise, the good news is I will be back here in Hamburg to visit with Emma when she's here next week. All right, I just wanted to give you this little update, uh, sort of a step-by-step -step about what's happening in case I try to check in on Saturday and then I get a message saying, no, you should have entered your details already. Now it's too late, you can't cruise. It's strange times, people. It is strange times. By the way, to check in for my flight to Barcelona, I not only have to bring with my official document saying that I am recovered, I also have to bring with the official document that said I tested positive and also have to fill out the Spanish traveler's health form in addition to everything else. It's a tricky time to be traveling people, just remember to constantly check on what documents you need and look like every day because things are changing. Just like I said with my whole Johnson & Johnson and then booster becoming vaccinated and not boosted, things change and it's important to be up to date. I will try to keep you up to date with what happens with this situation. Uh, hopefully at the latest on Sunday, I will get in touch here on this channel from Barcelona to let you know how everything's looking and I hope to see you back here then. Bye-bye.